You've probably heard of saturated and unsaturated fats, and the difference between saturated and unsaturated fats has to do with their hydrocarbon chemistry. So saturated fats have the long hydrocarbon tails with only carbon-carbon single bonds, whereas unsaturated fats have at least one double bond. And the double bond always occurs in a cis conformation, so those hydrocarbon chains with a double bond have a sort of kink in them. Now if there's only one double bond within a given hydrocarbon chain, that's known as monounsaturated, and if there's more than one double bond um, in a given hydrocarbon chain of the triglyceride, that's known as polyunsaturated. So in saturated fats where the carbon-carbon bonds are all single, those long hydrocarbon tails can line up um, pretty closely together, so they're high density, they interact with each other to form a solid. And for example, butter, cheese, lard, coconut oil are all made of saturated fats. Unsaturated fats, on the other hand, because of that kink in the hydrocarbon chain caused by that cis double bond, they don't interact as well. They're lower density and these hydrocarbon chains kind of flow a little bit more. So unsaturated fats um, we often call oils because they are liquid at room temperature and tend to be plant-based. So omega-3 fatty acids are a special type of polyunsaturated um, fat that have turned out to have some pretty beneficial health properties. For example, they slow the harmful hardening of arteries, they tend to lower the amount of fat in your blood, and they reduce the incident of heart attack and stroke um, when they are consumed. So where does this nomenclature come from? So if we look at a fatty acid down here at the bottom of this slide, here's a fatty acid. Um, the carbon that is farthest from the carboxylic acid group is known as the omega this carbon is known as being on the omega end. Omega is the last letter of the Greek alphabet, and that is how this is defined. So if we look at the omega end and count one, two, three, that's where we see our first double bond from this end. There's also a double bond at the six and the nine position. This omega-3 fatty acid is known as alpha-linolenic um, acid. This name depends on how many carbons there are, um, but um, that's how omega-3 fatty acids get their name, by counting from the omega end, and they all have three double bonds.